having a change of plans. I'm having a change in plans, even though I did set out to row to Alaska. When I got pushed over to Waldron Island, that was one of my scary days. I've had enough scary days out here to be scared constantly. Someone up on the dock said, why don't you just take the boat to southeast Alaska and get up in the protected waters and cruise around that part of the inside passage because it's way prettier, way friendlier, the water's nicer. And I like that idea. I don't know why. I don't need to prove anything. I don't have to die out here trying to row from Seattle to Alaska. I'd rather just take my boat up to the southernmost tip of southeast Alaska and start rowing up some of those waters. And I mean, that's where, I don't know. That's the way I feel right now. I did just almost die out there. I'd have to go get over to the ferry somewhere. Probably about 20 miles from the ferry. But that's probably a better plan than dying out here in the straits inside Vancouver Island. Today was tough. Today was a throw in the towel kind of day. Almost got knocked over in the middle of the channel. It would have been me and the dog's life at risk if it had happened. I don't know. This thing probably would have sank. I don't know. I had my life jacket on, which was smart, but basically, as I recall, we were, we had the wind off to our port side. And then we had standing waves to our port side because the current was running out against the wind. I, I went at three o'clock when the tide had shifted, so I thought I was all right. But it, there were still standing waves out there. Um, according to the atlas, the currents shifted. Anyways, so we get sideways in a wave, and there's water. Well, on the low side, the water's right here. It's just boiling right next to this yellow, to the rail. And on the high side, the water's boiling right up to here, too. So the canoe's basically buried up to its rails, and then the wave starts to fold over inside the canoe. Um... I don't know how much more wave the boat could have handled before. It actually would have caught on the low side and tipped, I guess. I don't know. The Amas saved me maybe today. So then I tacked real quick and came right back to shore and I found this cool little cove and been hanging out here. But I'm ready to quit. That's what I felt like today. Just take the boat up to Alaska on the ferry and hang out in Alaska on the inside passage for a couple of weeks and then be done. I'm at that point where I'm lonely. That two week mark where it's kind of like, what am I doing out here by myself? And I'm sitting out here in the little cove and there's people up there barbecuing and hanging out with family and drinking beer and not rocking back and forth still. So, yeah, lonely, tired, and scared. And a little, I mean, my progress sucks. I've made, I made six miles today. I made 13 miles a day before, 10 miles a day before. So I'm averaging, especially in the direction I need to go, way less than 10 miles a day. That's probably part of the problem today, too, is I knew I, sh I shouldn't, probably shouldn't go out there. But I thought I'd give it a shot because I really wanted to make another five or six miles before the day's over. And I gotta stop. I can't worry about getting straight to Alaska and killing myself. I gotta take my time. I'll get into the next town here in about 20 miles and see what the ferry costs to get up to Alaska. Maybe think about that route. 
I don't know. Time to feed the dog and go to bed. <laughs>